toast to my most beautiful family ever in the whole entire wide, long, north, south, east, west, to the sky and moon and back world. Now, you guys, all three of you shower me so much with your generosity, and I am so grateful for it. Thank you. And I don't see orange juice. Cheers to you, Mom. You're the best. Oh, you're, you're honestly already. so awesome and great and exciting yeah. and fun. Oh yeah. And and every time you just get back up again, keep it going, keep it real. I love this repetition of four. That means we're doing it 11 times, right? <gasps> mom, mom. Wait, 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 wait. I, th I think it's so admirable, your, your effort, your earnestness, your sincerity, your willingness, your, your struggle. That's why I love that book, My Struggle. I think I think the struggle is a beautiful thing to earn. I don't think we experience a lot of struggle. I don't think so. I think all of I us think you the, did today when a you play yeah, soccer, relative. when you try to do a test, when you come back, you keep at it and you, you put your best foot forward yeah. and you try to learn and I think Irina is I see her willing to learn more than ever in her 40s. I think it's she's given herself over to like, I can do it, I'll be patient, I'll try harder and, and lose sleep and suffer and hurt, but keep trying. I think that's super, super awesome. Honestly, I really believe you're a person who shows no pain, no gain, that you have gained through your pain. And you I find that very attractive and very awesome. doing there on your birthday, Irina? Taking a test. A test? Well, you're kidding me. A test for what? Diving. Di Skydiving? Scuba diving. Yeah. We started with ocean sound dive and yoga. Halfway there, we did our pool dives today, learned about the BCD and the regulator and the tank and the PSI and pressure and mask release and buoyancy. It was fun. Tomorrow, the hot, hot, hot ocean dive. Okay, today Ian dropped us off at 7-Eleven, but he come to Sunshine Beach Resort. Uh, made into another being because you can't breathe okay. underwater. You, you can okay, tomorrow, two o'clock. You have in human. <laughs> in human, but you can set up the gear. Yin Just comes like this camera gives you an extended sense, extended totally. sight. Yeah. 
right? It's the same, just like, yeah, like yeah. flying a plane. Like a and it's and weird at first because it's not really part of you. Because but you're weightless. You're breathing underwater. And you have to you, you you have to equalize these air spaces. Your lungs are shrinking. Nitrogen is going into your system. You everything mean, is changing. This guy makes everything <laughs> piece of you're not like a like, little. <laughs> Unlike the safari where like you would see the elephants or the lions and like during while you're seeing them and 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 like right immediately after you could talk about with like your family and friends whatever how cool that was but when you're diving like you're experiencing it then and you can't do anything to anyone besides like poke them and be like and you can't smile a few times I smiled no but I can't I smiled back and the water got in my mask so I had to not smile and, but then, like, when you get to the top of the dive, Ashley was so chill, and I got up there, and both of us were like, oh my god, that was awesome! But it's also different to, like, talk about it after, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Like, safari, you sort of enjoy it in the present and talk to other people about it while you're enjoying it, but the dive, like, it's a really individual thing, and you're enjoying it for yourself. And you can't really... I just know that you guys experienced it, too, but I can't, I don't think I could explain it to anybody yeah. in a way that would make them feel like as we did. I was really scared in the beginning, the very, very first dive, and we went down a little bit. I don't like more in lines. I like just more, deflated and inflating. Mm, my more in lines what you take to go down. But I just got so freaked out because I just thought I couldn't do it and it was too scary. And it's so unnatural and weird. Me and Mama at first, and I, I went. Floating. You guys were great in the beginning. I had to go back up. I went, and, I, and then I went down, and she kept looking at me like this, and I said, uh, which means something's wrong. And then I went up, and like I stayed up for a little bit, and then I said, you know what? I actually first I said, okay, I'm not doing it. It's fine. I'll just sit out, and they can. <laughs> That's like when your brain is like, I, you can't process what's happening, and it's also scary. But then, then I was like. I took a breath and literally you have to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because mom always says breathe to me, but this time now you, you really have to. The significance. And so then I just breathe and you hold your deflate button and you kind of have to wait and then you start sinking down okay. and you just have to sort of accept it sure. and trust it. Go. And then we went down, and then I read my watch, and it was like four meters, no, five meters, computer. my dive computer, four meters, five coach. meters, six meters, and we were like in the water. This is painful and scary, and we could die. But then as we got deeper, I kept being like, I love my family, I love my friends, I love everyone. I forgive Roman for being annoying and Pop for being slow and Mom for being funny. And Because I feel like when you're on the verge of dying, which you kind of are there, like you could, you could actually die. You realize how much you like freak out about things that don't matter. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? 
Where'd they go? Okay, ready, honey? Ready to sing? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alisa. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, mom. You get. Thank you. Times, times 11. 11. I, I love it, Roman. I did. Oh. Let's pull up the again. Papa, Papa, do you want to be in it? Really? You got it? I just got you the got bananas it? to be able to stick it. I really, I really okay. want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are trick candles? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Does it say trick candles? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I got it. Get down. Wait, wait. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Like I was still 30. Like that whole decade just went by so fast. You're still 42. But now, 43, now 44. No more 30. You're really in your 40s. Literally. And start viewing the effects of getting older. Like? I get smarter, forget things. Ooh, the fish. You'll get more experience. You get more life experiences. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way. Eventually you have to embrace your age. Just didn't really believe it or feel it or understand it. So, I don't think I have any great wisdom to share, but... Really? I think you do. At this moment. Um, I hope you're not filming any more work. grateful to have this summer off, to have lazy days, but the biggest concern is what are we going to eat? 
This is to be in nature. Bird sounds. Seeing all the butterflies here. The fish underwater. Feeling like I'm swimming in an aquarium with the most colorful fish. Being in Kruger with all those animals. Just the only sounds that we hear are the animals. A few boats. few foreigners like us, French, German. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I did turn 44. It's kind of a big round number. But I don't think it's fully sunk in my age. Um, but right now I feel, I feel really at peace with it. I'm feeling at peace with my body too. Just very comfortable with it. It's not as thin as I'd like, but it's pretty strong. Likes to be active. And I'm enjoying being with my little tribe, my husband, my two children, our two children. And I tend to be the quieter of the four in the group. And I've had some really nice time just reading. That's been a treat just to read. It's great seeing the children grow, especially Roman, change so much and so become so loose and comfortable and confident and cocky. Lola's so thinking and feeling and always sharing her ideas and her thoughts of how she's feeling. Wonderful to see them together, being roommates, friends, and they go at it, little cats and dogs. And then my beautiful husband. is getting older too. Wants to love me so deeply sometimes. I'm not so nice to love. Sometimes I'm really nice to love. I feel like we could travel for a really long time. Be wanders. I would like to go home at some point. It's nice to know that home's there. But I like to adventure. And unlike my husband and daughter who get sometimes uncomfortable with new environments, I really like them. I like to figure them out. I tend to be more optimistic. But they'll be fine. They'll work out. We'll adjust. We do. And then, too often, too soon, it's time to go. Our landbound bodies into being fishes. Just yeah. like we fly, yeah. just like we go underwater, but it's very it's okay. strange to change. Okay, and how much for two deal. bungalows? One and two. One and two. We want one and two. Day 21 of 63 of this trip. It's awesome. So Today we went rooms. diving pretty crazy. First, so two rooms for one. 
breath under the real ocean water. It was awesome. How was today, Roman? Ignore him. He's being a poop. He made us not go on our second dive because he couldn't equalize. Which means when you're going down, the pressure is getting more intense. You have to keep equalizing so blowing your nose because your ears will pop. And anyway, pretty awesome, pretty crazy. I feel really good, really happy. I really want to get this tattoo. Lola, can you drive a tape bungalow tomorrow? I'm videoing. Yes.